Hi there. Uh, I've had four coffees in the past ten hours, and yes, that is too much, I know. Um, but I'm also, I'm also accustomed to it, uh, and that's bad, I know. Uh, anyways, just thought I'd mention that. So, uh, four coffees and uh, half a milligram of clonazepam in the past twelve hours but more specifically just like three hours ago. Uh, so, <clears throat> I, I think just telling you my mental state uh, before the video, that's a good thing, because I think that you'll notice if you watch a lot of this, my mental state changes. So it's uh, 11 p.m. on a Tuesday, I'm going to practice. <coughs> I don't know if someone fiddles with the knobs while I'm not using this thing, but... I'm intentionally changing, what do they call it, the warble? <laughs> I don't know, it's a, it's a weird name. Uh, I've heard warble means something, I, don't, I think it's this thing, if you can see this. Um, I, I know I'm changing it, but it, it could also be the amp. The amp is uh, like partly damaged, I think.
uh, on the index finger. standing up with a strap, uh, I probably couldn't just like, unless I was holding it or something, or like, I don't know, I couldn't just adjust my body to get the right um, thing. Anyways. <laughs> the way you're supposed to. My friend joked he had like rock hard fingertips or whatever. So um, I, I guess that's what you're supposed to have ideally. Um, and so if you ever got to that point and then stopped play guitar, I got some calluses here uh, and here here uh, from carrying the amp and um, they just started, like, I carried the amp, like, at least two weeks ago, if not longer. And, uh, so I guess my, the area that I was holding the amp with calloused, um, and I wasn't aware of it, but the, I, I, the past few days I've just noticed skin is peeling off, and I'm like, oh yeah, that must be from the amp. So, like, if I get into guitar, get really good calluses on this hand, and um, then stop, and then get to the point where they start peeling. I think that'll, I can see myself like in a social situation and someone points at my hand and it looks like I have uh, a wasting disease. I shouldn't have talked, I should have just gone straight from A to E. Uh, Sometimes when you think you do something on the computer and um, you think that wasn't really me, um, that was, or like, I, I guess an example is like you use MS Paint and you make something, but you realize you didn't make the computer, you didn't make the software, what you did was like draw some stupid little line line drawing and it's like this is mine <laughs> and I guess you could say the same with paper and pen but it, it's, a, it's a lot more obvious with the computer and I guess that's why some people say acoustic is bad and well, sorry electric is bad and acoustic is better uh, I think I, I think like given the opportunity if I had to replace this guitar I'd get another electric at this point, anyways, um, I do, I, I, my friend was playing his acoustic and it sounded just as good as an, excuse me, a burp, uh, just as good as an electric, but despite that, I don't know, it, it, it took a lot, I, I don't know why I'm burping, so I would play uh, an acoustic. But I think I prefer electric, and I know it costs way more and blah. I guess I have the hiccups uh, from sitting in this position, I guess. Oh well. <laughs> 
not much I can do about that. Just listen. <laughs> But I didn't make the amp, but, but I didn't make the guitar, I didn't invent the guitar, blah 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 blah. It's still something that I want to pursue. I guess I just compare that to stand up, um, where the only tool you're using besides the microphone, and um, doing shows at uh, the beginning of the year, uh, I realized something they just a little tidbit they said in uh, college. I went to college for it, uh, and I dropped out. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so when you don't even need the mic in some situations, and uh, developing the skill, uh, you probably want to have like friends uh, that you talk to, <laughs> and I don't really uh, have that at the moment, uh, but anyway, there's more than one way to slice a melon, yeah, I don't know, I'm, it's weird, so we always go back to E, <laughs> It's kind of like, um, you could say, beating a dead horse going back to E, or you, uh, something along those lines, like don't go back to E, you know E, or whatever. But I, I guess I kind of want to perfect it. Um, and I pretty much, yeah, I don't know, I just think I could know it better. Well, for, for example, can I do it without looking? Let's try that. yet not to lock. So, <coughs> that's one skill that I can practice and then Okay, that 
that's the end of my trick. So like I have, it's like I have a list of sounds that I can choose from. Um, I'm not gonna keep on that one, uh, but I don't. I guess with like an audio board, you could. It, everything was brand new. You could perfect everything to make it sound exactly how you wanted. So okay, now I'm trying. I'm gonna try to find E uh, without my uh, uh, eyes looking, theoretically if I go blind, <laughs> don't, don't even talk about that then, <laughs> I would be so fucked, okay, so, no, okay, okay, that's the limit, I have to look at this step first, but that's something to work on. Um, so we did A, E, and D. We did some G. We did G7. We did C major. C minor. It's actually pretty easy to memorize C minor. I, I don't know why. Or is that supposed to be needed? I don't know. that I'm supposed to go for if I want to do something more complex. So we did all the E's, all the A's, all the D's, G7, G major, G minor, um, C, C major, C minor, right, okay. C7, which I have to look up. Okay. Mm. <coughs> oh, I just got... That's really gross. That can't be good for the guitar. I'm sorry, guitar. I just spat up on you. I don't know if you saw that, but it's just a tiny bit of phlegm. I'm sure people have like literally puked on their guitar. And I expect by the time this video is processed and uploaded, it will be past mid <laughs> past midnight. And we're going to have an E party. Um, <laughs> e used to be what MDMA was called. I think it's called M now. Or I, I don't even know. Uh, I don't even know if people still do that drug. Anyways, uh, E as in the chord E. So we're going to have an E party. Um, I guess now. Because it's... 
11.16. By the time this is uploaded, it will be past midnight, meaning it will be October 1st. And that marks six months or half a year sober. Or, well, I take pills, so, so if you want to be a jerk, I'm not sober yet. But <laughs> uh, I'm, I also have a mental illness, and some of the pills might be needed and might not be for actually getting drunk or high, you know, don't be such a hard something, and I'm afraid to swear for some reason, so yeah, that's like half a year without intentionally drinking, and plus I was given the pills, I did not ask for them, I, I tried my best to not take them, or to, to not um, accept the prescription, when the prescription was given to me, I followed it as ordered, and in the past I've tried to not do that, and it didn't work out that, that good, okay? So just give me a break. <laughs> so now for the E party. <laughs> So I did that correctly, but obviously the last uh, progression scale I went through was uh, uh, still in the process of memorizing it. Like I, I did it from memory, but I was not confident with it. Um, okay, E party. <laughs> Sorry, that's a really lame way to end it. I think it's less lame to end with some D. <laughs> 